Good morning, everybody. Got a little bit of a late start. Um, it's pretty nasty out. It was like raining all morning, a little bit chillier, a bit of a cold front came through. I think it was in the like, low 50s right now. It's 52, so I figured I would sleep an extra hour. Went to the gas station, threw some gas in the boat, uh, threw the generator in the boat so I could charge the batteries. I was sitting in the Walmart parking lot last night and I didn't want to throw the generator on. I don't know. I probably could have, but I just decided I would do it this morning. It will only take like an hour and a half to charge, and I'm already an hour in. So I'm going to make some breakfast, just a quick bagel, and get out here on Rodman for the third time in a row. So the last two days have been really good. I've fished in the river section, like I've gone up, and it's been a lot of fun. I mean, there's a lot of current up there, all the hyacinth and the cypress trees is just some of the coolest fishing that I've ever done in my life. I'm a really big fan of it. But today, I'm going to try to focus down lake. So I'm going to run to where I haven't gone. Like, I haven't seen anything down there. I don't have any idea what it looks like because of this drawdown right now. The lake is actually seven feet below pool. I thought it was nine, but I did a bunch more research last night, and it went from 18 feet to 11. So they dropped it seven feet. Now, something in the last video that I said that both my buddy Scott Rose and Kyle Welcher said is that the big fish in this lake probably followed that current down and are hanging out down there like in a little bit deeper water so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down there and focus on flipping and maybe throw a little bit of top water I don't know if they're gonna come up because of this cold front that might have kind of kept them down but we're gonna see so I'm gonna make this bagel and then get the boat ready we're gonna go try to knock day three of Rodman out with a giant bass Are we ready? 100, 100. We are good to go. So, before we get out on the water, this last bite of the bagel and this video are sponsored by Top Fishing Deals. Huge thanks to Top Fishing Deals for sponsoring this video. If you guys click that link down in the description below, you can go check out topfishingdeals.com and find the best prices all over the internet on your rods, reels, baits, terminal, literally everything i've been calling it the slick deals of fishing so if you go check that out down below go save yourself some money and find some of the best clearance and sale items out there on the net right now i love the jumbo for this reason it can be so shallow and i can just slowly make my way i mean i'm looking at freaking logs and I hope that's a log. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's a log. Two feet. Churning up mud. I think I'm in the channel. This is the thing. There's really like, I have no idea where I'm going. Best advice I can give. If you don't know where you're going, don't go fast. Spot number one. Um, down this way is like the lake side of Rodman and I'm working my way down there but all of this looks pretty good so I'm gonna start fishing my way into that I'm gonna throw the buzz bait around a little bit see if I can't bring anything up with that and then switch to like a spinner bait or a jig or Texas rig probably look it looks so crazy out here all this standing timber the fog it just makes it really gloomy it's a little spooky out I like it though let's go all right, here we go. 9.25, first cast of the day. Oh, I didn't fix the trailer hook on there, did I? Nope. The fog and clouds and light wind just make me feel like this buzzbait is gonna work. I'm gonna go down this lane right here, see if it's deep enough. I'm gonna venture back, flip some of the grass and wood. I'm going to take a second and rig up a punching rig because I want to get through some of this grass and I need to do it on braid. I'm 
see the cool thing about this is that there ain't no bass boat that can get back here. This is just like a straight reaction strike. With that one ounce weight, that bait is falling so quick, you're basically hoping just to land it right in front of their face. So, you know, they see something going by super quick. Imagine like a fly by your face. You're gonna try to swat it. And that's exactly what that fish is gonna do, except it's gonna eat it. So to try to make sense of all this wood, I just pulled up the map of Rodman on Navionics. Now, I don't think it's 100% correct because this obviously isn't according to the drawdown and it says this is seven or eight feet and I'm sitting in eight feet right now, but I still think it's giving me something to go off of. I'm looking for some sort of break line or channel or dip and I'm heading right towards an area, basically straight ahead, um, where it gets down to 15 feet and granted it's probably not gonna be 15 feet right now, but it's still gonna be deeper than the surrounding areas. So I'm just looking for something a little bit different that I can go off of. And that's where I'm gonna head right now and just try to pick these different spots apart and fish around those areas. So I'm gonna go here where it has that like 15 foot hole um, and then probably swing over this way. There's a creek bed and another hole there. And it looks like a like underwater point that comes out real shallow flat, which they could be coming up to spawn on. Uh, there's a road bed out on top of there. And then, I don't know, work my way around, obviously towards the dam. Down this way, you have that real deep channel, but we're over here and we have all of this to go through. So we'll be taking our time. The water is a lot cleaner down here too than up in the river, which makes sense, but figured I'd let you know. Temperature is a little bit cooler too, 61. Whereas up there it was like, I guess when I launched yesterday, well, yesterday was warmer. I think it was 64, or 63. And it got up to like 66, 67. The first day I was out, it was like 61 to 63. Oh, oh my God. I just had something following this. All I saw was a tail. It was like five feet behind it, but that was a big tail. That might be a bed right there can't tell there's like so much glare i saw something chasing this though wow uh, actually, i think that might be a bed that was a big tail that was a big big tail wow that fish was like way like super late follow on the bait but it was big i don't know if it was sitting on a bed i can barely see into the water all right, we're trying something different here. We got away from the wood and I'm gonna fish kind of this open bank. There's like a point here. There's a little drop out in front of it. I just wanna try something different. There's also not a lot of people over here fishing, probably for a reason, but you never know. So I've been out here for two hours. I fished through all of that standing timber, just like took a line and zigzagged my way through then I came out here to the open water it's still pretty shallow it's only like four and five feet I'm actually looking for where it drops off though because there is a creek channel somewhere where it should be deeper and that's I'm gonna go back up to the edge of this wood flip my way up to this point and then hopefully find that little bit of deeper water and then fish that for a little bit and then I'm definitely gonna be getting back in here the sun's starting to pop out so I want to get deep deep into this wood where all the other boats can't I think that's the kind of thing I have to do to find a really big fish out here. Try something else. Um, I don't know what to do. Go with this black and green plate for a little bit. Quick lure change here. Oh, Jumba. All right, so we're up in the river where I was fishing yesterday and I just had the weirdest inception-y, very strange moment. When I came back through, I like came this back way and followed the channel and then had to cut through a bunch of wood and grass. And then I ended up in an area that I'd fished twice yesterday, like all the way through. You can only stay in one channel, but I didn't realize that I'd fished it until I got a little bit closer up and I started recognizing landmarks. 
I was like, how am I here? Like, how did I get here? It doesn't make sense. I was second guessing myself. Like I went back and checked and I was like, no, this isn't it. And it totally was. It was where I saw that bed two days ago. So crazy. It was very cool. This is a very cool place. So I'm gonna start punching and flipping and throwing spinner baits up here. See if we can't catch anything. I need some hooks at therapy. So hopefully we can make it happen. Stupid snail knot. Such a good bite. That's gonna do it for me, boys. I am toast. I can't even explain to you the hilarity of the situation that just happened. I'm such an idiot. Um, I pulled the boat up on the bank, and I went to get the truck, and I come back, and I left the boat in gear, like idling, but in gear. And it grabbed some of the line from my Daiwa with the DC on it and it was just spinning around in the prop. It ripped the rod off the boat, and I thought that it was these other guys, so I was like, hey, hey, wait, wait, my line's stuck in your prop. And they're like, it's not ours. And I look down, and my rod's just sitting in the prop, like between the blades and the skeg, and the, re the rod didn't break, but it took almost all my line off my reel, so I just spent the last 10 minutes just unspooling the prop. Story of my day, jeez, that was rough. I'm such an idiot. All right, I'm gonna get this boat ready, and then we got a drive to do today. Right where we started this video. I'm actually still at the ramp right now because I'm waiting for my phone to charge so I can figure out where exactly I need to go. So I'm meeting up with Scott Rose tomorrow, and we're gonna go fish Lake Toho. And then Lawson's gonna come on Monday, and we're gonna do some fishing for a few days in Central Florida. Whew. I need some food. Where's my peanut butter? It's PB and J time, boys. I'm gonna eat my sorrows away. So let's talk about the day really quick before I get into sandwich making. Uh, I don't think I did anything wrong. If I really wanted to catch fish, I knew that I could have gone up into the river, but I really wanted to try and catch a big fish. And I think, like Kyle and Scott said, that they're gonna be more down lake. So I took the shot today and I lost that gamble. I had one bite, and coincidentally it was when I went up into the river, so probably could have caught fish up there, but I was looking for that big, big, that like 10 pounder, so I'm not upset about it. You know, I could sit here and be salty, but it was a new day on a new body of water for me because I'd never gone down that far and like really seen it, so I learned, I figured out exactly what it's like. I learned that back channel, how to get back there from being up in the river, so that was cool. I look forward to coming back in a couple weeks and closer to the full moon. So I think more of those fish will be pushing up and hopefully some bigger ones. Hopefully it'll warm up a little bit too. I think there's a couple weeks of really nice weather that we'll see more fish shallow or the bite will just improve in general. But it was an awesome lake. I recommend it to anyone that wants to come here. Rodman is a very special place actually. It's, uh, I don't know, there's something about being here that just feels fishy. Feels like there's big fish here. And I look forward to coming back in a couple weeks, but I already decided that I am gonna post this video even though it's a skunk video. I'm sorry, I know it sucks. Trust me, it was a long day. But I think that there's still some value in it. And I also wanna keep you guys in the loop with these videos and film every single day and share every day with you so you feel like you're here with me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Wish me some luck at Toho and I'll see you on the next one.